So there are our cuts. I hope everybody got something out of that. Uh, if you're new and watching and you learned about the three main types of cigar cuts, um, remember fourth, we have our crazy one, a little shuriken. And I'll just show you real quick. I'm not going to do it, but what you, all you do is you put the cigar in there and you push. You don't twist. It'll shred the cigar to bits. You push and it'll give you a whole bunch of little, little cuts around the um, edge of the head there. So that's what that does. Anyway, I hope that was uh, educational. Now we're into the lighting. So we're going to use, um, because most people, I think most people are going to opt with the torch method, especially when they go out and see what lighters are out there. Most of today's cigar lighters, uh, the biggest range that they'll have in cigar shops are torches. Um, so we'll take a torch and what we're going to do Let's pick a cigar. You know what? I want to see exactly how this bogus, the uh, bogus Partagas Edition Limitada tastes. And look at that. It's just like this big effing stem that's right in the foot. Anyway, when you're going to light a cigar, uh, one thing. Ugh, God. <laughs> Everybody's watching like, oh, geez, you know, this is supposed to be enjoyable. When you're going to light a cigar, um, you know, you can give it what's called the pre-draw, is the flavor you get from the cigar before the light. And if you're reviewing a cigar or doing something with a little cigar journal or whatever, you can just kind of puff a draw on the cigar. I like to like, you know, lick it a little and, I, and you know, get some flavor going. And, uh, you know, that's, the, that's what's called a pre-draw. Um, the light is called the light. And what you want to do is toast the foot of the cigar so you get a nice even burn. It's important. You want a nice even burn. And it's not like a cigarette where you can just light it up real quick. It requires a little a little nudge, you know? Uh, so if you were to just put it right in your mouth and, and puff, 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 for time's sake, that's the quickest way, but a lot of times what'll happen is one of the edges or somewhere along the edge of the foot, it won't light and it, the wrapper can start to canoe and cause big problems. So you wanna toast the foot. Now when you're doing that, these are very powerful lighters. You don't wanna just bring the torch in and start blasting the thing, okay? You're going to give it some distance. The heat travels a long way, all right? And bring it slowly until up, oh, you see, you start seeing some little red embers, okay? Start seeing some little red embers around the cigar. Now, as you're doing that, you want to gently turn the cigar, just keep rotating it, you know, and get the entire area of the cigar. What I like to do is go all around the edge first and then go for the center where the most filler is. You can see we're smoking, we're starting to smoke nicely now. And then now once, once you're starting to get a good light, you'll see that anywhere I bring it, it turns a nice cherry red. We're ready to puff. So you bring the cigar in your mouth and Again, rotating as you do it. Rotating is important to get a nice, even light. That is the furthest thing I've ever tasted from a Cuban cigar. It's, um... However, it is a great light. So, you see, that's all you do. It's not a big deal. And uh, where the most lights fail is probably because of impatience and... Um, being unsure of yourself and, and being in a rush. Don't let anybody rush you. If you're at a cigar shop and there's a house lighter on a chain or whatever and you're using it and somebody's standing behind you waiting for it, don't feel obliged to rush because he wants to get his cigar lit. He didn't bring matches either. Take your time, okay? Once again, hold the cigar at an angle, rotate slowly as you hit the edges, Get the center nice and lit, and then puff. If everything worked out okay, 
what you should see is a nice even burn around the entire perimeter of the cigar and when you puff and look at it the whole thing should be red a nice red you know it's burning um, people are gonna kill me for getting this disgusting stinky fake cigar smoke uh, all over the house but it is what it is so that's how to light a cigar since we got a couple of cigars here um, I'm gonna show you some other methods of lighting when you want a cigar to extinguish, put it down and leave it there. Okay, so we're going to give you a close-up of that. Just going through it uh, real quick once again. First, we're going to show you the cut. This is a very crappy cigar right here. And I'm going to just cut it like that. Boop. Okay, cap pops off. You got a nice, clean, straight cut. You can give it a little brush. That'll help get, like, you know get any tobacco bits uh, from the filler that are there, especially on a, a cheaper cigar, it will have a lot of bits. A better cigar with long filler that's uh, in good shape will have less. A dry cigar will make a lot. Uh, anyway, so that's that. Um, and because you already saw the torch method, we'll just show you the flame method. It's very similar. Uh, the flame produces less heat. So you light, and I like to just, you know, bring it and just start rotating okay just hit the edge of the fire you'll see right away you see the wrapper starting to turn uh, carbonized starting to blacken a little there get that black that sh that tight little black line around the entire edge okay then you know at least you have some you have a start there and then you'll see the the center which needs some attention all right and you just start bringing that like that give it a rotation every once in a while the key is not to burn too much of any one spot you know and give it a few puffs and you'll see you start having a nice even light there there you go and that's that nice light so as you can see, it's very simple. Um, what happens is some cigars, if you get a, a space of real tight filler, like right there, it may require a little more attention. Uh, but sometimes if you get the whole thing lit around and everything's going, don't worry about it so much. Smoke it a little, let it sit a little. Um, Touch-ups. What touch-ups are is when you have a cigar that starts burning wildly and canoeing in one area or another, you can give a little, let's say this cigar started burning and this side was burning, right, and over here it was not burning and the wrapper was still out to over here. You can give it a little touch-up. Simply hold your cigar and burn the area that's giving you trouble. Uh, but I find when smoking good cigars, 90% of the time, if you just wait and don't give it a touch-up, maybe you're puffing it too fast, let it sit a minute, give it another couple of good puffs, let it sit a minute, it'll even itself out. Uh, so the main thing is that people are uh, impatient a lot of the time. Of course, if your cigar is going nuts and, and canoeing down to here, and then you're probably puffing it too fast, or the cigar is too humid on one side, or it's filled, rolled badly with a lot of filler on one side and loose on the other. It's a whole bunch of different reasons for that, um, but take my advice, when you want to fix your cigar, if it's not much of a, 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 a difference of burn, leave it alone. Let it sit for a minute. 90% of the time, it'll even itself out. Hmm. That, one la that last cigar I lit, I just want to show you real quick. When you take the cellophane off of a cigar, if you see that, that's a sign that that cigar has been sitting around a while, uh, especially on a lighter Connecticut wrapper, you know, light wrapper cigar. That's not a bad thing necessarily, you know, as long as it has been kept in a good humidor uh, environment and it's not dry, this is not a problem. It's just a sign that nobody's been buying that cigar, <laughs> you know. So, whatever, that's what happens. But that if you ever see that, uh, you know, for you guys out there who are just starting, don't think, oh God, it's this, you know, uh, this might be bad, I should bring this back. 
that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Just a sign that all that is is the cellophane trapped all the tannins and, and chemicals that are being released as the cigar is going through its aging process. And uh, that's what you end up with.